All right, here goes another little uh, plasma flame circuit. Got a few of them laying around. And you know, I got a little guy right here. I think I got this guy for like 15 bucks off uh, AliExpress a while back. Got a little fan on there, but yeah, that thing heats up real quick. This one right here, I can actually run it for quite some time. It doesn't heat up. Let's start it off at uh, 26 volts. So it takes about upwards of 40 to really get a, a decent flame going but uh right now just at 26 it's pulling about 40 watts one and a half amps or so and drains peaking up a little bit over uh almost 120 or so at the moment and i'm just gonna cut the voltage up till let's see so i'm just gonna put it at 40 i'm gonna put it at 40 right now and uh, drain is now peaking at about 173 or so, it says. So I'm just going to let that go for a while. Cut this light down. So, yeah, it's about 90 watts or so. I can't really see that. But uh, that's running at uh, 10.4 megahertz. But I basically, I got a fat screw on there. I like just kind of running it, see how long it takes to uh, heat that screw up. So it's already getting pretty hot. And uh, you know what? I'm just going to bring it to... Uh, about 100 watts, so really about 42 volts, about 180 volt swings on the drain there. All right. So yeah, that's not bad. Uh, this is an IRFP260M, um, so I'm guessing, I don't know, I could probably bring it up to maybe maybe 50 volts tops, uh, you know, before it starts like avalanching and all that, but I mean, it's not bad, probably 45, 45 would be a pretty good, pretty good number. See, so yeah, that's not bad. So basically, typically before uh, when I run these, I'm going to cut it off in uh, the capacitor. Uh, it's like hardly room temperature. The uh, fit, I can feel like just a little bit of baby warmth on it, like really hardly anything. Not enough to really spread any heat to the heat sink itself. You know, caps pretty good. So, yeah, I like that. I know sometimes these arrangements end up heating that capacitor up a whole lot. Uh, sometimes, you know, it'll obviously mainly be the fit. But, yeah, it's not bad. So, Again, uh, not the easiest thing, I suppose, to explain how to uh, get it tuned, so it will run like that. But, uh, matter of fact, I'm just noticing I got that thing, like, sloppily hot glued on there. <laughs> I got this coil sloppily hot glued in place, and it's going to start uh, melting and sliding, so I shouldn't run that thing long like that. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Just kind of wanted to show, you know, a little, little cleaner setup. Where, uh, yeah, kind of, I like how that runs to where I don't really have to worry about heat, uh, like I have in some of the other ones. So, really, I mean, that's the name of the game. Uh, I really need to be trying to, uh, build higher power ones, tune them so they don't heat up, uh, get them running real nice, maybe utilize this supply. So, probably be, uh, one of the things I'm gonna be messing with along with some of these other guys. I mean, I got a bunch of these freaking HF. SSTCs laying around. I got to uh, finish up.